just like you know other central banks in the region um, rbi has been uh, accumulating reserves uh, at a fast pace maybe faster than others and that has been preventing inr gains despite some very robust inflows that you mentioned uh, we remain constructive on inr uh, uh, especially in q1 where we believe that the, you know the seasonality uh, favors the inr uh, portfolio flows uh, remain very strong apart from the fdi inflows that we saw earlier uh, just in q4 actually uh, we have seen uh, 18 billion dollars of of equity inflows in, in uh, into india actually so india is leading when it comes to attracting the equity inflows that we have that we have seen post uh, us election so we believe that you know those factors can uh, drive some INR gains in the short term, uh, and we, so that's why we remain constructive on the currency. You're underway the Taiwan dollar, is that right? The star of 2020? Why? We are, uh, primarily because, you know, it, the currency has already rallied uh, uh, a lot uh, over the last uh, 12 to 18 months. Uh, from a valuation perspective, uh, if you look at any valuation metric, whether it's nominal effective exchange rate or real effective exchange rate, uh, Taiwan dollar uh, seems most expensive in in a couple of decades, uh, and we believe you know that 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 is likely to sort of to be a headwind for the currency uh, going forward. Uh, again, just like other uh, uh, central banks in the region, we have seen a rising pace of reserve accumulation in Taiwan. Uh, and one important thing for Taiwan is, you know, that the carry remains uh, deeply negative, uh, especially in the offshore market. So we believe that's why, you know, we continue to like Taiwan dollar as a funder uh, in our in our portfolio. Uh, in a broad dollar week, broad. Uh, uh, dollar weakness, dollar Taiwan can uh, be heavy, but we expect Taiwan to underperform uh, peers in the region. Miyang Kai, this is Christine again. Um, speaking of emerging currencies, we don't often talk about this particular currency, the Myanmar currency, MYR, the Kiet. You think that is attractive given its commodity exposure. Tell us why. Exactly. Exactly. So we believe that, you know, this year, especially with the reflationary environment, uh, with the strength that we're seeing in the uh, in the commodities space, uh, you know, commodities uh, uh, linked currencies uh, have have a uh, have a very constructive backdrop. And MYR stands out as as, uh, you know, the commodities export as a commodity exporter in Asia. Uh, from a valuation perspective, also relative to peers, MYR uh, appears much more attractive. So we actually like uh, Ringgit uh, this year. We are targeting 3.9 on dollar MYR uh, by the end of the year. Um, and yeah, we it's it's one of our topics in this in this inflationary environment. 